in here with Elias Theodorin. The Spartan, is that your nickname? Yes, it is. Now, why do people call you the Spartan? Well, I think the shoe fits. I'm, I'm Greek, and I was going to say the shoe fits. And I think uh, every once in a while, this is Spartan moments do happen. Now, now, tell me the story about this date and the 500 bucks. Is that true? <laughs> well, uh, basically, uh, coming up in this martial arts, kind of got to make your money any way possible. So, one of the things I was uh, fortunate to be a part of was Fund of Fighter. And, uh, uh, other than the usual t-shirts and this and that that people could bid on, I threw a little spice into it. And uh, the date itself, uh, what can I say, I was gentleman all the way through. You know, uh, I read all the bios for all the people that are in the house this year, and yours sort of like popped off the page. I'm like, this guy, he's, he's a little bit WWE in the <laughs> MMA. So is that a conscious decision to sort of like play this character? You know, because I feel like, you know, you're really going to stand out. <laughs> Some of that. You forgot to answer as well. Yeah, so he sits on my face. Neither here nor there. Um, with that being said, honestly, I'm just being me. And to some extent, I sure I may be turning it up a little bit, but I'm me. And I don't really care what other people think. I'm going to be me and have fun doing some of the coolest things anyone can want to be a part of. You know, when I interview people on other reality competition shows, this is American Idol, for example, they're always like, oh, you know, we're all a family here, you know, like we're all supporting each other. Is that how it is in the Ultimate Fighter House? Because I'm like, how can you be friends with this guy? Yeah. You're going to beat him up in five minutes. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's very, very true. But the thing is, I think other seasons, it wouldn't be the case, but I think the Australians and us are not too different. You know what I mean? Like, and at the end of the day, we're all professionals, you know? Uh, we're adults enough to the idea that we're going to hit each other, that we're going to have a good time, and maybe that'll be our ass. Did the, did the nations, like, sort of switch? Did that have an effect on things? Like, is it sort of like, oh, I can't lose, you know, I'm representing my country here, or was it not really a factor? Well, obviously, it was a factor. Like, um, all Canadians are proud and proud to be Canadian, and all that comes with it. So, like, I think to say that it wasn't an, an aspect of it would be lying, but honestly, it's you're still, at the end of the day, you're going in there to win. So, the Canadian element obviously adds that much more pressure. What was it like working with Patrick? Oh, I. I'm honestly, uh, I've known Patrick for quite some time. He's a fantastic guy. And honestly, he came there right away for us. And that's what I think, that's what I feel that everyone's going to see. It's not about him, it's about us. And it was an amazing thing to work with. You know, tell me about the cameras in the house. Is that hard to deal with? I feel like you're fried. You're like, no, we need more cameras in here. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, yes. We need more hair cameras. But, um, but that being said, honestly, like, it is hard to kind of always be on, for lack of a better word. But that's what the thing is. The beautiful thing is just being myself. I don't have to be on that. Right. I'm just being me, but uh, you know, waking up at uh, seven o'clock in the morning, you wanted to walk over to like, make some oatmeal, and then all of a sudden, someone like, yeah, then it, it can be difficult, but it's oh, uh, it was a great for fans that are seeing you fight for the first time. What would you say your most dominant weapon is? Like, if, if you were fighting in the ring, what should I look out for? Um, honestly, it's a Chest not chest. There's so many things that go with it. I would say that my athleticism is always what lets me win. I've never lost a round, never lost a fight. So basically, I just keep that going. And why should people watch the Ultimate Fighter? Cool. Okay. No, but with that being said, honestly, there's going to be like a bunch of great fights and then a lot of hilariousness. And is it going to live up to last season of the Ultimate Fighter? Because i got to tell you, Ronda was pretty entertaining. Yeah, entertaining, yes, yes indeed. But I think that this is going to be entertaining for a different reason. Because honestly, like I said, there's going to be some of the best in both respective uh, countries and hilariousness in between. Amazing. Thank you so much. My pleasure.